Hello, welcome to a new video. I've been asked, how can I create a softer bass in contact with the Scabi Rickenbacker bass? So here's the original sound. And let's try some of the key switches. And now the higher key switches. So something changes, but the bass is not really a soft bass. Okay, this is a Rickenbacker bass. And some people say uh, it's not possible with this bass, but hey, um, let's do all the things that's possible inside um, a PC. So some other people said the solution is use other strings at this bass. Okay, this is possible with a real instrument but this is not the real instrument. So the second solution could be an envelope shaper. So here is the built-in envelope shaper of Cubase. I like it very much. And now let's put the attack to minus 20 dB. Yeah, and now we choose the length 150 milliseconds. Yeah, sometimes it works, sometimes not, and sometimes it is a little bit too much. Okay, and now comes the third solution. This is just possible when you've got the full version of Contact, so not the Contact player. Uh, first of all, let's uh, deactivate the browser. And now I'm choosing this wrench tool. Go to Group Editor and go to this button, Edit All Groups. Now all groups are selected. That's very important. So we change the attack at every sound, at every group. Now we go to the bottom modulation. And here is the modulation for the amp. There can be much more modulations, but here we just have the modulation for the amp. And let's rise the attack. And now we can do more and play some chords. Very interesting. Now we go back to nearly, yeah, let's say 2.5 milliseconds. And the softer version, more softer. It's not the original Rickenbacker, but it sounds great. So this is the method you can use changing the attack when you don't have attack knobs here. A lot of patches have a tech knobs, but not this one. So when you like this video, please give me a thumb up. Would make me very happy. And when you get some questions or suggestions, just leave a message. See you the next time. Bye.